What's up, ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're back in the King's Fall raid on everybody's favorite crab ogre Golgoroth. Instead of doing this strategy that we've shown before on the channel, we're actually going to go do the one orb strategy that is pretty popular right now. It's pretty nice because even if your team doesn't have great synergy, and you don't have the ability to stay alive throughout multiple orbs, this will help you take down Golgoroth pretty easy. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now first things first, you're going to want to have some Defender Titans. We have one Defender Titan with Weapons of Light, but I think if we had two that would make this battle go even quicker. So you want to have your Defender Titan with Weapons of Light and Black Spindles. Please, if you've got Black Spindles, use them. It's so good for dealing out damage to Golgoroth without having to reload or anything. It's basically a DPS monster on Golgoroth. Now, after our first run, you can see we did a pretty nice job on him. We actually kind of mess up this second take in taking down an orb, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave that in and just talk about some of the things that you want to do whenever you're doing this battle. I thought about cutting it out, but then I was like, you know what? Nah, it's good to show some of the failures too, so everybody doesn't think you have to be absolutely perfect and still get the strategy to work. Now, we mentioned the Titan Bubble, but there's also a few other things we need to talk about in order to do this strategy. Aside from the Titan Bubble with Weapons of Light and your Black Spindles preferably, you also want to let your Hunter shoot out a Shadow Shot, because Shadow Shot's debuff plus Weapons of Light's buff is going to make you deal big time damage onto Golgoroth. Also, you have 5 people down in the pit and only one person up taking the gaze. Our person is Bulldog, and ideally, in a perfect situation, what you would do is one person would be on the opposite side of Golgoroth, over where I'm basically standing right now. Your Gaze Taker would be on the opposite side of the screen, and the person that is where I'm standing right now would shoot Golgoroth around, get him to face me, while your other four teammates were shooting down the orb up top. Your Titan should be down there dropping a bubble up behind the orb, and then the Gaze Taker can go ahead, smack Golgoroth in the back, turn him around, and you should be facing his belly, his nice crit spot, all really easy to go ahead and do, deal out your big time damage. Unfortunately, this is the run that kind of got all messy and ugly, and I was thinking about taking it out, but I kept it in just to show that even if things go really bad right here, you can still kind of regroup and you'll still be okay to finish off the fight. The big key is that your one gaze taker needs to really make sure that he's counting down and letting you know, hey, we've only got five, four, three, two, one, until the gaze is gone, and you really need to be out of the pit at that time, otherwise Golgoroth is absolutely going to obliterate you, and it will be no fun. Now if you have two titans, you'll be able to put up your weapons of light bubbles much easier. We only had one, and whenever we went down into the pit the second time, he didn't happen to have his super back up, so if you have two titans, that's going to spread things out a lot nicer, and there should be orbs also just around the area. It really shouldn't be too, too difficult to get your super back up, even for the hunters who are shooting off their shadow shots. So again, it's kind of a big old symphony. You're doing all these kind of things at once, clearing all the ads. After that, it's a three-person synergy between the Gaze Taker, the Distractor, and then the Titan. Those three things happen all at once. The Distractor, the person on my side, will distract Golgoroth while your Titan jumps down and pops his Weapons of Light bubble. And it should definitely last for a long time if you have Bastion on. Then the Gaze Taker ends up shooting Golgoroth in the back after your four other teammates take down the orb that is in the front left portion of Golgoroth. Or if you really wanted to do it, you could obviously swap things around and start everything off on the right hand side. It really doesn't matter either way, we were just doing it on the left, it seemed to fit the best. Again, here I am turning Golgoroth around. This time this run looks like it's going to run a lot better. As you can see, we have our Titan Bubble down, we have our Orb down, and Golgoroth is facing us. That's the key. The person that's taking the gaze really needs to make sure that they have Golgoroth facing the team. Because those five people need to have a nice, easy avenue to that crit spot. If you've got your black spindle up, it's really nice to just be able to constantly deal out damage without having to reload. That DPS is really high. And we're out. It doesn't feel like we did a ton of damage, but if we look at his health, you can see that it's well below 50%. And that's off of only two really good runs. Remember, our second run was just really terrible. We got barely anything going on on Golgoroth. But those two runs with the Weapons of Light Bubble and the Shadow Shots, 
that did a ton of damage. I mean, we're at the Taken phase right now. So all we need to do is kind of regroup around a little bit. Our orb should be back up. We can just go on our little ammo run, see if we can get any orbs to fill up our supers, and then jump back down into Golgoroth. It's really not difficult. And one thing you'll notice, we didn't die to Cursed Thralls in the pit. Obviously, if you're all down in the pit, you want somebody to be a Cursed Thrall killer. But if you're only in the pit for a few seconds, you don't really need to worry too much about that. Here we are, we do not have a Weapons of Light bubble right now, but we're all in the extra damage dealing ooze, and it's time to just do all we can to Golgoroth's belly. I ended up putting out a Shadow Shot right there, again, just to get that little bit of a debuff on his health, on his armor. And we're putting out big time damage, that was our third decent run. I feel like if we would have had Weapons of Light Bubble, we surely would have taken down the rest of his health. You can see just how easy this strategy actually is, which is why a lot of people are adopting it. None of the people in my raid group here have ever done this strategy before, so we're all learning this right on the fly. We're learning this on the fly, and we haven't died at all down in the pit. We've dealt a big time damage to Golgoroth, we're in the final phase of the battle, and we're going to be able to take him down first try with this strategy. Now, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Is this going to work in the hard raid? That, mm, I don't know. You're going to really have to have a lot better weapons, I think, to deal out this damage. I don't think it's going to really work right in the beginning, because your weapons are probably not going to be 320 or anything, obviously. But there it is. First time with this strategy on Golgoroth, and he falls down. So again, the keys are 1 Gaze Taker, 5 Damage Dealers, have one to two titans with weapons of light bubbles, have your hunters with their shadow shots, and black spindles, black spindles for days. Just deal out the DPS whenever your gaze taker ends up saying, hey, it's time to get out of the pit, get out of the pit, clear the ads, go back down, take care of that orb, get in the pit, do the damage, shoot the things, kill the guys, get the rewards, that's it. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Taken King, and I'll see you around in Destiny 1 or